in this video we're going to be looking at back titrations. Now before we look at back titrations, here's a few things that we need to remember about solutions. So let's say I have 100 centimeters cubed of Dr. Pepper. It has a certain number of moles and a concentration. Now let's say my friends are coming over and I don't have enough left. The first thing that we could do is add water to this and dilute it. Let's say now we have 200 centimeters cubed of Dr. Pepper. The moles will be the same because the number of sugar particles in the original and in the new are going to be the same. We haven't added or removed any particles. However, because the volume is much larger, the concentration will have decreased. The second thing we could do is take an aliquot, which means take a small sample. Let's say, for example, we take out 20 centimeters cubed of Dr. Pepper. Here, the moles will have reduced because the small sample will have less particles compared to the original. However, because the volume is also smaller, that means the concentration remains the same. Another thing that we could do is take a small aliquot and then add water to it. Here, the moles will have reduced, just like in the previous example. However, because we've added water and increased the volume, that means the concentration also has decreased. Okay, here's a question on back titrations. We want to work out the value of X in this hydrated sodium carbonate. To do that, we need to work out the MR. Let's say the MR was 178, for example. Then we could work out the value of sodium carbonate using the periodic table. That's 106. Subtract 106 from both sides, leaving you with X times water equals 72. Then work out the value of water, which is 18, and then divide both sides by 18, leaving you with X equals 4. Okay, so in this question, to work out MR, we need to know mass and moles. We've already been given the mass. However, we haven't been given the moles. 3.5 grams of hydrated sodium carbonate is placed into a beaker and made up to 250 centimeters cubed with water. A 25 centimeter cubed sample is taken from this original beaker. This is then titrated with hydrochloric acid, requiring 24.5 centimeters cubed of a 0.1 molar solution. Now remember, we wanted to work out the moles of sodium carbonate. We can start off by working out the moles of hydrochloric acid. Using the formula, moles equals concentration times volume over a thousand. This gives us 2.45 times 10 to the power of minus 3. According to the balanced equation, we can see that hydrochloric acid and sodium carbonate have a 1 to 2 ratio. That means I can divide the moles of hydrochloric acid by 2 and work out the moles of sodium carbonate. But remember, this is in the 25 centimeter cube sample. In the original, since it has 10 times larger volume, the moles will also be times by 10, giving us 1.225 times 10 to the power of minus 2 moles. So now we also know the moles of sodium carbonate. Since we have the mass and the moles, we can then divide them to work out the MR, which is 286. Next, we can use this equation to start to work out the value of X. Again, just like before, take away 106 from both sides. That leaves you with X times water is equal to 180. Then divide by 18, and that gives you X equals 10. And this is the final formula. Hey guys, if that video helped you, support our channel by liking, subscribing, and sharing it with your friends. And more importantly, if you still have questions, drop a post on our forum at examqa.com where I will personally be there to help answer your questions. Mohammed signing out.